Welcome to this tutorial about SCM coding. You first have to download Sunny Builder because we are going to use it in this tutorial. If you open Sunny Builder, you it will look like this. In this tutorial, I will explain the basics of this program. If uh, there are five major options in this screen: file, edit, run, tools, and help. File and edit are pretty much the same as you are used to in other programs like Word or Excel. Run, however, is a bit more specific. Decompile means that you make a SCM file into a text file so you can edit it. For example, you can choose for the main script. You can find it in the, fo in the script folder, folder in that data. Uh, it will decompile and you will see a code like this. This is um, the um, SCM file made by Rockstar. So um, once you edited it you have to um, compile it so the, the game can read it. You have to press compile or compile and copy. If you press compile it will be uh, compiled into the same a folder as where you save the uh, txt file. If you uh, press compile and copy, it will and uh, compile it in the in the folder where you can find the uh, um, the txt file, and you will immediately um, compile it into the directory of uh, the script uh, folder, so that uh, Sanrias can uh, read it immediately. From the run uh, part, you can also run San Andreas. There are uh, some uh, tools in Sunny Builder 2. Uh, one is the code converter. So if you are you, uh, if you have a code which is in Mission Builder language, you can use this uh, converter to make it Sunny Builder language. I never use it myself. The, uh, these tools uh, are very important. First, the course manager. Um, the course manager will um, will show to you the co coordinates of where you are in game. So, um, currently I'm uh, in Grove Street. So, if I walk uh, towards the bridge, I will have other coordinates. So. If you go back into a uh, sunny builder, you will see this. These are still the wrong coordinates, but you have to press read, so you will um, so you will see um, the coordinates of where I'm of my exact place in game. So if you press copy, you can paste it in here, so you will have the uh, exact coordinates. Um, of course these are uh, only available when uh, the game is running because else um, you can't check uh, sending builder can't check where you are in the game the second important tool is the opcode opcode search tool um, there are currently in this tool 1804 opcodes so you will never uh, know the exact opcode. Well, most of the time you won't know it. So, for example, if you want to create a car, you can type create car and you will get 13 opcodes. So, um, these are all the opcodes which have create car in it. So, the most basic one is um, just to create a car and you can copy it and paste it into the file. This way you can find a lot of opcodes uh, which you uh, couldn't remember. For example, if you want to place a searchlight, well I don't even know what part of it is in, uh, in the opcode so I will just type searchlight and there will only be a few uh, opcodes which con uh, contains searchlight. 
Of course you uh, have to know a bit yourself for, because if you only type car you will still get 390 opcodes but if you uh, are a bit experienced with it you already know that there has to be create with it. So um, well you have to get some experience with it to use it uh, to use it well. Then uh, the last part is the help part which uh, has contents in it. Contents is uh, very useful especially uh, SCM documentation of uh, San Andreas which had, has um, um, which has uh, a lot of um, information for you for example if you want to um, check if the player has pressed uh, a key like um, the sprint key then you have to uh, use a number for that um, if you don't know them by heart which is uh, in most cases uh, which is in most cases then you have to press key press numbers and here you will see that um, sprint is um, is number 16 there are some other uh, important parts of the help content uh, of the of the help uh, the Clio Clio 3 library for, uh, code library for example there you will uh, find all information about Clio 3 the new opcodes the the plugins and the custom scripts um, it is uh, quite useful to uh, to read it so uh, I would certainly recommend that you read it before you are really started to go started to start coding well, there are some other important uh, uh, things. So, for example, the the editor. Um, you can go to, uh, for example, highlighter. There are in in um, in the um, the codes are uh, some things highlighted, like uh, the green ones is uh, labels, and the brown ones are um, models. So here you will see, for example, about uh, um, uh, you will see, for example, about uh, um, yeah, which color is uh, gives uh, what kind of information. So you can also change it by tools options. There you can uh, change this, but I would recommend to just leave it like this and to uh, use it like everyone everyone else so um but uh, in this uh, editor there you will uh, find some kind of uh yeah all information about the editor itself like uh hotkeys and stuff like that articles and coding is both about the coding itself so it is quite useful to read it through so um uh to uh to understand the coding better so uh, this uh, was the first tutorial, tutorial about uh, SCM coding. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned from it too. And uh, perhaps uh, see you next time.